honestly, like this fight is kind of like the one for me. It's like a taking that bigger step because I'm already jumping eight rounds on television. Um, and this is going to open a lot of doors for me and my brother. So I feel like a lot of it is weighing on this performance. I have to go out there and I, I cannot let nothing get in the way. I have to just go out there and perform. But I feel like all my life, everything I've ever been through has prepared me for this moment, you know, to, to really perform. Saturday, April 20th. That's a big date for Carlos Balderas. Even though he does not know for sure who his opponent will be, that's the date of his next fight in Carson, his eighth pro fight in about two years. It, it has been a quite of a process, bro, but I've, I've been learning to enjoy it, you know? I've, I'm used to rushing everything, like, oh man, I can't wait till I'm fighting here. I can't wait till I'm fighting for a world title, but, uh, you know, I, I've learned to enjoy the process already, you know, taking each fight at a time, enjoying each win, because when I win one fight, I'm like, dang, I can't wait till I fight the next one. I can't wait till I look better in 10 rounds or eight rounds. But I'm starting to enjoy it, like, okay, I'm starting to finally sit down and, and enjoy each professional fight, you know, which is good. This will be Balderas' second fight of 2019, and he has been busy in his pro career, with seven bouts so far, but he's only gotten in 15 rounds as a pro. So his fights are averaging about two rounds per contest. So he wants to extend that out and be up to 10 to 12 rounds by 2020. 2019 is the year for me because um, by, the end of the, by the end of the year, I'll already be at 10 rounds, you know? I'll already be at 10 rounds by the end of the year. So I'll have about maybe two, three more fights before the year ends. And no, I didn't really plan on it because um, you have to let your body rest after every fight, but I thought I was gonna wait like at least maybe a couple more weeks, like maybe three months. But you're sometimes your opponents, you finish them quicker than you expect, right? And you're still fresh, you're still your body's still healthy. Why not stay in the gym and get another fight? You know, that's the reason why we did it, bro. Because the hardest part of camp is the training. Honestly, this is the hardest part. Um, but my next fight, for example, if, if this opponent goes the whole eight rounds, then I'll take a longer break. But if I knock him out quick, I'll be in the ring pretty early, you know? That's the most important thing in boxing is getting your rounds in because for, let's say by the time I fight for a world title, instead of having 50 rounds, I'll have 200 rounds of experience, you get me? So that's very, very important. My promoter wants it, even my coaches want it, but I don't want it, you know? If I can get in there and finish a fight quick, I'll finish it, but I know it's very important. But as fighters, we don't get paid for overtime, you know? If you finish it quick, you finish it quick and let's go home. Like, that's, for, that's more for somebody who is kind of green. Like, by the time you take him to a world title, you're like, oh, I'm not sure if he's ready. But me, I'm knocking out all these fighters. It's not my fault. They can't stay in there, you know? Oh, well, bro. Balderas has been busy training for April 20th, even sparring with his older brother, Jose, who will fight on TV next month. The brothers have also talked about eventually leaving Santa Maria as their careers grow. Sadly, I am, bro. I really am going to have to. I don't want to. I don't want to because this is where I have been growing my whole career. This is where all my people are at. But, you know, just to let my people know that I'll forever be a Santa Maria fighter, you know. But, yeah, it is important for me to go out there because me and my brother are thinking of making the transition to LA and we're going to start staying out there and having our camps out there because there's a lot of... Um, uh, you know, just um, experience we could get out there, sparring, exposure, a lot of, um, you know, every time we have to go to do an interview at a, like, Telemundo station, we have to drive, like, three hours and then three hours back. On top of that, we don't train, you know, so, yeah, I, I think I am going to have to make the move to L.A. because not, not that Santa Maria, Santa Maria is short of anything, but it does lack a lot of stuff, you get me? Um, and it'd just be better for me to, to be staying in L.A., but Santa Maria will forever be my home, you know? I hope they take me in as, you know?